fish biologist, and as you'll soon realize, not an actor. Uh, I grew up in Kirkland, and I remember driving through Lake Forest Park as a kid, and I was always just so amazed at the natural community here. It seemed like I was going through just some primeval forest. What I didn't realize until I moved here was just what a community this is, how the people take care of each other. They even do things like write songs about their natural beauty that's around them, including songs about salmon, which of course appeals to my heart. I just wanted to say a little bit about salmon in Lake Forest Park. 120, 130 years ago, our streams, Lion Creek, Macular Creek, probably even the little ones, were just teeming with a kind of salmon called kokanee salmon, also known as little red fish. Uh, there's lots of early accounts of their being in the streams by the thousands. So kokanee are part of the theme uh, of this play. Stream health is part of the theme. And our ultimate goal is to get people excited to, so we can eventually bring back kokanee to Lake Forest Park streams where they haven't been probably since about 1950. So I think we're making good progress and we're very delighted to have you here to hear about kokanee and stream health and join your neighbors and friends. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. So now go first. Thank you, Jeff. So welcome again, and thank you all for coming out to see this play. But before the play begins, I wanted we wanted to take a few minutes to talk about the play and to give our thanks. The play is a community play. It was written by a community. It was it's totally acted by a community. And although the story is about two kokanee fish, really it's about community. The importance of community and how we work, and when we work together, no matter how young or how old, that we can make a difference. So at the heart of it is about all of us. Before I pass the mic to Jean, I'd like to explain that this is also an interactive musical. So just because you're sitting there, doesn't, you don't get a, you're, you're, you're here to participate. If you look at the um, program that you have on the very back, as well as here, Janice has going to have some words up there for you. So in this play, there are some bards that will come out shortly. And every portion, there's an audience participation. And if um, you can use your strong voices and encourage the singing, that'd be great. There's also one little portion that's like a Peter Pan moment, but I'll let you figure that out. So that's it for me, Jean. Okay, this is actually our second production. The first was uh, in the summer in Sally and Dan's backyard. And one reason we're here is Janice Hogarth, Haga and she was at the production, she liked the theme, she thought it was fun, and she got the Rotary, the Environmental Rotary Club of Puget Sound to join in, and their place Commons is hosting us as well. So here we are for our second production. <laughs> and the thank yous, so thank yous to the Environmental Rotary Club of Puget Sound, third place Commons, Janice and Douglas Coral for their support during the rehearsals. Uh, Kim Caudill, the Third Place Commons Tech Manager for Sound. And we have an excited and energized crew, actors, musicians, and production people in the back. They're ready, so let's go on with the show. Greetings, friends and neighbors of Lake Forest Park. In fact, our story takes place right here in Lake Forest Park at Lion Creek. And we're going to have two stream keepers doing their monthly water quality testing and two kokanee salmon who are watching them. Oh, come gather around, hear the story we tell. Spoiler alert, it will all turn out well. But only if we can adapt and survive. In fact, it might give us the secrets to thrive. Everyone, sing it, I think I can, and I think you can too. Sing it, I think I can, and I think you can too. Now this is a story we can all relate. A topic so crucial there is no debate. 
Oh, it's about little fish in the stream. It's actually us, if you know what I mean. Sing it, I think I can, and I think you can too. Sing it, I think I can, and I think you can too. Our story begins by a creek in the rough Where we see two stream keepers measuring stuff Along comes our hero who's talking with friends He has a big problem, but how will it end? Sing it, I think I can, and I think you can too Sing it, I think I can, and I think you can too One, two Three, four, five, six. It's clearing up. It's clearing up. Looks like the humans are measuring dissolved oxygen in the creek. Um, my gills tell me the oxygen level this morning is 76.7%. So Not very good for us at all. The, uh, the dissolved oxygen level is 74.8. That's not good. Well, write that down. They did a pretty good job with their measurements. Dissolved oxygen readings have been getting worse and worse. As the temperature of the stream goes up, the oxygen level of the stream goes down. That's not good for the fish. We should check the stream temperature now. Okay, where's the thermometer? Oh. <laughs> okay, let's see. The stream is 78 degrees. That's really much too warm for 9.30 in the morning. Yes, yeah, just about 78 degrees. These folks do a good job. <laughs> oh, we can check the air temperature now. Oh, here's that. Okay, air temperature. Let's see. There you go. 83 degrees. Oh, it'll be a lot warmer this afternoon. Yeah. we got to watch out for that temperature stuff. It uh, really can affect the environment, all those uh, in so many ways, those fire, wildfires and droughts, and so many more things. Well, at least air temperature is one issue we don't need to be concerned about. Yeah, maybe that's true in the short term, but ultimately everything in the planet is interconnected. Warm air leads to warmer water. Hot summers can dry up streams completely. That would definitely be a problem for us. I get it. Lungs or gills? We're all in this together. Well, that was the last of our water quality measurements. Let's get out of here. All right. Grab the kit. <laughs> Hi, Dilly. How are things in the air breathing world? Hey, Brian. Hey, Alvin. I'm good. What's going on with you two, though? You're looking kind of worried today. Well, two stream keepers were here doing their monthly water testing. The water's getting warmer. Of course, that's no surprise to us, but it started us worrying about the next couple of years. It's not easy being a salmon these days. You know, there used to be a lot more of us in Lion Creek. Salmon are having a tough time all around. It's a little easier for us kokanee because we don't migrate any farther than Lake Washington. Things are pretty tough on ocean-going salmon, though. They have to deal with problems in the local streams, and the lake, and the ocean. Yeah, even when the water is good, a lot of salmon never make it back to their spawning grounds. Some of us are caught by fishermen, fisherwomen. Some of us are caught by birds, eaten by seals, and even orcas. Make one little mistake, and you're somebody's dinner. Keeps us on our toes, as you humans say. And warm, polluted water creates a whole new set of dangers. And that makes me mad. If I get eaten, I get eaten. I understand that. I eat smaller organisms myself. I can live with that, metaphorically speaking. I have a chance, ag I have a chance against predators, but there's nothing I can do about warm, polluted water. We don't know what to do, Tilly. Well, I don't know what to do either. But you know, the people of Lake Forest Park really care about the earth. We have the Lake Forest Park Stewardship Foundation, which is all about protecting the environment. And their stream keepers are the ones who come and test and monitor the creek. And the city's new action, Climate Action Committee is working on reducing our carbon footprint. 
even us kids are getting involved. My sister's in high school and she's involved in an environmental group already. Well, that's all good. But you Finless folks really need to step up your game big time. If things get worse, three years from now, when Fry and I start our way upstream, we may find that the water quality is so bad, we can't make it back. I didn't know that. I can't let that happen to my friends. I won't let that happen. Well, it's getting hot right now, so we need to swim off to find a cooler spot. Oh, Tilly, please do everything you can to help. I see will. Goodbye, Fry. We'll Bye, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. I don't know what I can do to help. I don't even know how to get started. But I will find a way to help my salmon friends, because all living creatures are my friends. I love my dear friends in the forest, especially the kokanee fish. But the creek where they live is in danger, and they have but one simple wish. Come back, come back, they want to come back to the stream to spawn. Three years from now, they're worried their creek will be gone. Now I don't know much about climate, but I see things falling apart. It's happening faster and faster, and now it is breaking my heart. Everyone, come, come back, come back. They want to come back to the stream to spawn. Three years from now, they're worried the creek will be gone. Cool job. Thanks. I'm going to fly to the playground. Well, that sounds like fun, but you know, I was hoping I might be able to get some help from you. I just learned that the salmon are in trouble. The water here is getting too hot and polluted in Lion Creek. So we need to do something about it. Can you help? I'm really into computer games. I just got to level 14 in Halo, the final slaughter. I love coding and building drones that do really cool stuff. I've got this little guy to pick up a raspberry from my kitchen counter and carry it across the room and set it down on a table. How cool is that? That is very cool and definitely something the world desperately needs. But come on. Uh, see you later, Julia. See you at school. Okay. Bye. You know, I'm starting to get the feeling that improving stream conditions in Lion Creek will not be easy. But I will keep my promise. I'll find a way. I'll go talk to my dad and see if he can help. Hey, Dad. Yes, Pumpkin. I need to talk to you about something important. Sure. You know, I was just out at the creek, and the fish are having a really hard time. There's not enough oxygen in the water or too many chemicals. If things get worse, our salmon will die. And I want to help, but I don't know what to do. Well, I don't know very much about water quality issues. I'd like to help, but I'm really busy right now with my work. Yeah, maybe we can talk about this later. Tilly, you're a smart kid. I know you'll think of something. Hey, wait a minute. Why don't you talk to Gretchen? She lives on Lion Creek. I bet there's something she can help with. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. She's really nice. She lets me go in her yard anytime I want to go down to the creek. Thanks, Dad. I'll go see her now. Bye-bye. Gretchen? Yeah, I made some cookies today. Would you like some? Uh, well, uh, no, thank you. Not today. Actually, um, I came to uh, talk to you. Well, 
Right now, I'm fertilizing my lawn. Oh. I fertilize and I spray weed killer so that I'll have a nice green lawn all summer. My mic's on. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with it, it's on. I'll just go for it. <laughs> yeah. I'll yell. Okay, where were we? Oh, I'm fertilizing my lawn. I fertilize and spray weed killer all summer long so that my lawn will be nice and green throughout the summer. Well, um, you know, I actually came to talk to you about the Lion Creek. The salmon are having a really hard time surviving because of bad water conditions. You know, my mother told me when she was a little girl and she lived in this very same house that there were so many fish in Lion Creek that they would bump into each other. And you know, it was so loud that you could actually hear it from inside the house. Wow, that's amazing how many fish there used to be here. And that wasn't that long ago, but it sure is different today. You know, some of that fertilizer and weed killer you're using must be getting into the creek. That's not good for the fish. Mm. But you know, I've always cherished my weed-free green lawn. It's really special. I, but you know, I really never thought about the chemicals getting into the creek. Hmm. You know, um, even small changes can add up. You know, Tilly, I think this is too big a problem for young people like you. You need to be doing kid things, playing outside. Well, yeah, but you know, um, if I don't help now, it would be really awful if the salmon disappeared. Yeah, that would be sad, Tilly, but I gotta finish spraying my weeds. Good luck. Thanks, Gretchen. I don't know what I was thinking when I said I would help. I'm not sure I can do this. What's wrong, Tilly? Hey, Fry, hey, hey, Alvin. I'm not having much success. My friend Carlos is too, he's not interested. And my dad is too busy. And Gretchen only cares about her green lawn. So I don't know what to do. Tilly, don't give up. Salmon never give up. We never stop trying to get back to our spawning grounds. We know all there is to know about determination. Yeah, we encounter all kinds of problems when we swim upstream to spawn. If there's a steep rise in the stream bed or a huge log in our path, we gather up all our strength for that big jump. If we don't make it, we try and try again. And if there's a very shallow stretch of the stream, barely more than wet gravel, we push and scratch with our fins till we get past that shallow part and we can swim again. That's right. I'll tell you what we say to ourselves and to our buddies as we face each obstacle, even those that look impossible, we say, I think I can. I think I can. And then we go for it. After we've gotten past that obstacle, we take pride in what we've achieved and we call out, I knew I could, I knew I could. That gives us more confidence for the next challenges and encourages others to follow us. You know, I think there was a children's story that I learned that teaches that same lesson. I think I can, I think I can. Oh, that sounds like an old salmon story. Maybe a friendly salmon shared that idea with a human storyteller. Tilly, you may be young, but I know you can accomplish a lot. Just try saying to yourself, I think I can. I think I can. How about maybe I just don't know? Tilly, do you believe that you can make a difference? I think, I think I can. Let's all join in and encourage Tilly. I think I can. <gasps> All you folks in the audience, can you make a difference? Each and every one of you, can you make a difference? Tell us. I think I can. Excellent. Let's do it one more time. Can you make a difference? I think I can. Good. We're counting on you. Okay. Well, 
Bye. Alvin, have a wonderful adventure. You're leaving, right? It's time for us to leave and head downstream into Lake Washington. This will be the last time you see Alvin and me for three years. Then, if we're lucky, we'll be grown salmon and we'll find our way back home to the spawning grounds in Lion Creek. Okay, well, um, I hope you have a good adventure in Lake Washington. I'm going to miss you. I won't be the same here in Lion Creek without you. Promise me you'll make it back. Kelly, we can only promise that we'll try very hard to survive. All salmon do. Well, I'm going to try very hard, too. I will keep my promise. Lion Creek will be better three years from now, and it will keep getting better. Just like a salmon, I will overcome each obstacle. Excellent. Well, Elvin and I will swim together. We'll have each other's backs and dorsal fins, too. If one of us gets lost on the way back to Lion Creek, the other one will be there to point the way. Okay, Fry, let's say goodbye to the humans. Goodbye, goodbye humans. humans. Goodbye, goodbye, people, people of Lake, Lake Forest, Forest Park. Park. Say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> For years. Well, now I need to get to work, and I don't have a clue what to do. It seems that our lives are so busy. We all have our priorities. But this is so truly important. How can we get them to see? Come back, come back. They want to come back on their stream to spawn. Three years from now, they're worried their green will be gone. She loves her dear friends in the forest. And friends help each other in need. Yes, they do. Although she's just one little person, they're counting on her to succeed. Come back, come back. They want to come back on the stream to spawn. Three years from now, they're worried their creek will be gone. They're worried the creek will be gone. made a promise to make things better for the fish in Lion Creek, the salmon. And if conditions get much worse, you know, we may not have any salmon living in our streams at all. But I don't know how to help Oh, uh, well, Tilly, you know, you've come to the right place. My friend Olivia is an expert on environmental issues, and she's teaching me all about it, too. So if we can just work together. Let's talk about it. Oh, planting trees. That's a great idea. Tilly, I heard the city has money to buy some young trees, but what they don't have is the money for people to plant them. So how about if you organize a group of volunteers to do the planting, and our group will organize from schools to talk with people who live by the creeks about how misusing fertilizer and weed killer is not acceptable. Well, you know, you guys are terrific, but I'm not even a high school student. Do you think adults are going to listen to me and uh, take me seriously? All of you, maybe you should take over the tree planting project. Millie and our friends will do our part, but you should organize and lead the tree planting. Tilly, you've got this started. You're the perfect person to carry it through. You think so? Yes, sis. You can do it. I know you can. I know you can, too. Okay. Yes, you're right. I think I can. I think I can lead this project. And if everybody works together, I think we can begin to make a difference for our fish friends. Let's 
Let's go do it. Let's do it. The city has provided the trees. The high schoolers have talked with streamside neighbors about best practices. Tilly, Millie, and Olivia have been working very hard. And today is finally planting day at Lion Creek. I'm ready to help get those trees planted. You know, I've been thinking a lot about the environment, and I want to do my part. Maybe I can help the environment with drones. Maybe a fleet of drones can help salmon find their way back to their spawning grounds. Or maybe drones with powerful lasers could break up all the plastic in the ocean. Wouldn't that be something? It certainly would, Carlos, and it would also be great if you could help plant a tree today. <laughs> oh, hey, sis, there's Dad! Hi. Hey, Dad. <laughs> Let's go talk to Dad and Gretchen. Hi. Hi, Hi Tilly. Hi. Guess what? A group of high school students came to visit me, and they told me about how I could protect the creek. From now on, I'm just going to use a tiny bit of fertilizer. I'm going to spray my weeds with vinegar, or I'm going to pluck them out. This won't harm the fish. <laughs> yeah. 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 I know, lady. Plus, <laughs> I'm going to plant some shrubs and some trees along the creek to shade it, to protect the salmon. I've got a new sense of what's more beautiful than a green lawn. A salmon swimming in a healthy creek. Hey, Dad. Hey, hey Arnie. Oh. Hey. This is Gretchen and Tilly. Hi, Tilly. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Arnie's a Lake Forest Park stream keeper, and I volunteered to help him. I'm going to join him at the next water sampling meeting, and I'm going to do my part to make the Lion Creek better. Hey, Dad! Yes, and I'm going to speak at Ben's uh, next upcoming business meeting about uh, why clean streams help our economy. Great! That's wonderful. Hey, sis, have you noticed anything different about Dad lately? Yeah, Dad was always so busy. He was never involved in any of this kind of stuff. Never had enough time. But now look at him! He looks so happy! <laughs> and he and Gretchen seem to really share an interest in environmental issues now. That's really going to help Alvin and Fry. Good yeah, job. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming. This is fantastic. As my fish friends once said, lungs or gills, we're all in this together. Today, we work together to start improving the water quality in Lion Creek. And that will bring us a step closer to helping the salmon. Yes, Yay. and what a great start. And there's a lot more that we can do. No matter who you are, there's always something that can be done, big or small. Oh, when you face an obstacle that seems like it's impossible, change it to a miracle, just say, I think I can.
started out alone at first, but when confused, thought it would burst. Just when I thought it could get worse, I said, I think I can! Woody! When it started with you and me and Super Rock Community, working together, you'll see there's nothing we can do. Woody! When it started with you and me and Super Rock Community, working together, you'll see there's nothing we can do. a lookout for Fry and Alvin when they return from Lake Washington. With all the work we're doing and their strong determination, I know they will return to Lion Creek. I just know they can. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember not so long ago all the creeks teeming with fish, don't you know? The climate is changing and so must we all. And you can take part if you're big or you're small. Singing, I think I can, I think you can too. Singing, I think I can, I think you can too. Let's talk to our families, let's talk to our friends. Let's tell them the story of how it could end. When we work together, we're unstoppable. From difficult tasks to the impossible. Singing, I think I can, and I think you can too. Singing, I think I can, and I think you can too. You've now heard the story of one little town. And how they got up each time they were knocked down. When you are in doubt, simply stick to the plan. And say loud and clearly, I, I think, think I can! Say I think 